Hey everybody, Maestro here from Bendu Lightsaber Combat. Today we're going to be talking about the fundamental formula uh, of Makashi. Now Makashi, as opposed to the, is the second form of lightsaber combat, as opposed to the first form, which is geared more towards battlefield encounters, Makashi is geared more towards a dueling or one-on-one -on -one, uh, scenario. So you're able to take more time dealing with the opponent. The movements are much more intricate. It is designed to take apart other fighters. It's designed with precision in mind. Uh, Makashi fighters don't generally overwhelm through brute force. They don't uh, overpower. They don't even um, uh, outspeed, you know, using speed to, to defeat their opponent. What Makashi users try to do is to undermine, to pull the rug out from under uh, that opponent, to use what he's doing and make it ineffectual to stymie the opponent, to give them nothing to work with. Um, that's the general modus operandi of any, you know, Makashi user traditionally. Um, in our forms, Makashi is made up of two words, Maka and Shi. Shi, if you watched the uh, Shi Cho videos, you'll know, means to cut. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she, if you watched our Shi Cho video, as you know, means three. Literally translates to three. So the three what? The three maka. Maka translates to contention. contention or struggle. So Makashi is literally the study of the three contentions. Uh, there's a separate video that goes into more detail on that. I'll just touch on them lightly here. Uh, but the three contentions refer to the three levels that you engage the opponent in. There's the contentions, the three contentions we're talking about refer to the three contentions that you engage the opponent in uh, whenever you're doing any type of combat. There's the mental aspect of it. That's one contention. You're contending on a mental level. Uh, and that has to do with um, tactics and strategies and things like that that you're bringing to bear. The other one is a physical level. You're actually physically putting your capabilities up against theirs um, and, and struggling to see who's going to win physically. And the third one um, after physics and tactics is uh, after, phys after the physical and tactics is actually physics. Um, with physics, what we're talking about is the actual way in which you're bringing the other two to bear. How you are going about making your attacks, how you're moving your body and uh, 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 meeting the opponent's you know, attacks and uh, defending yourself. So, uh, like I said, there's another video that goes into more detail on that. Please check it out. It's awesome, I think. <laughs> but... Uh, um, Today what we're going to be talking about is the fundamental formula underlying all Makashi movements in uh, our lightsaber combat system. So the fundamental formula, uh, like all of the other forms, is unique to Makashi. It's what makes Makashi separate and distinct from other forms of lightsaber combat. For instance, we can't, we can't assign uh, every particular movement that we can make with a sword into a specific form. Who gets the thrust? Who gets the overhand chop? Who gets the rising attacks? You know, what form do those go in? What form do they belong in? The, the answer is they belong in all the forms. Any of the forms could use those attacks. So what is it that changes a form? What makes a form a form? It's the fundamental formula that is the fuel, the guiding force, the blueprint for everything that you're doing in that form. That's what makes a Makashi fighter, a Makashi fighter, and differentiates him from a Shicho fighter. Um, and it's very easy to see and obvious and apparent when you're looking for it in uh, a particular fighter's repertoire. Uh, you'll look and analyze and you can see what they're doing and how they're doing it and know that, oh, they're using Makashi or, oh, they're using Suresu. Um, it's very obvious to see. Okay, so this is the fundamental formula underlying all Makashi tactics. Um, 
again, what the fundamental formula is, is a blueprint for planning out your actions. It describes perfectly how a Makashi specialist is ideally supposed to engage and perform their actions and, and go in against the opponent. Uh, the first part of it is gaining control of the distance and the timing. This is absolutely critical for a Makashi specialist. He needs to be in absolute control of the distance of the fight. That way he controls the timing and all the other aspects of it. A true Makashiist always knows exactly how far away he is from his opponent, knows exactly how, the oppo how far the opponent can reach to try to strike him, and is able to use that to his advantage to set that opponent up for failure, to undermine everything that that opponent is trying to do. When an opponent strikes at a Makashiist, the Makashiist opens the distance and isn't there to be hit. But is still in control. He's not running away from the fight. He's not fleeing recklessly. He's maintaining that control. He'll slip that blade by an inch so that he can step in the aftermath and strike. And that's where the next part comes in. Exploit vulnerabilities. So as the Makashiist is doing this dance of the duelist with his opponent, measuring out the distance, avoiding attacks, probing and trying to find weaknesses, offering up feints and uh, fakes and different uh, actions that he can do there. What he's looking for in his opponent is a vulnerability, something that he can exploit and turn to his advantage, whether it's the opponent's footwork, their blade work, their tactics, anything like that. They're looking in all three of those areas in the contentions so that they can find a, a vulnerability, a weakness, a crack in the armor to exploit. Once they've exploited that weakness, then how do they respond uh, afterwards? What they're going to do is maintain control of the distance, because that is the power of Makashi. That's where their special specialization comes into play. They not only have total control of the fight before the strike, during the strike, but also afterwards. They're reestablishing distance, they're keeping distance, they're using distance to their advantage. Distance and timing in swordplay is everything. And no one knows that better than a Makashi specialist.